It was twenty years ago today. Sergeant Pepper taught the band to play. We'd be going in and out of style. We'd be counted to raise a smile. Somebody introduced to you. Acting on all these years. Sergeant Pepper's only heart for the band. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to play the Beatles song Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band. Now, I've taken the tab for this out of the official Beatles Sgt. Pepper's album tab. There is an updated book which tells you to tune this one down one whole step and then move everything up, which seems a little bit um, awkward to me. Um, so I've, again, I've gotten this down to two sheets of paper, or one and a half sheets actually, uh, to give you some idea as to how to play this one. I think one of the problems especially for the beginner guitarist. The guitar tab has basically three guitars tabbed out playing this, which can be a little bit confusing. The guitar solo, when you listen to it, you can hear a guitar in the background and the solo guitar at the, for the, uh, the intro. That causes confusion. So the beginner ends up thinking, you know what it is, I'll just go with a little black book and learn to strum it. And then I'll really progress beyond that, which is a shame. So the intro guitar, we hear, uh, obviously there's three guitars playing at the same time. Playing over A7, we've got this. And then we have. That's the lead. So essentially, ninth fret of G, moving to the eighth of B, then to 10. More like that. Then again. Then we have this little, and then it goes to D7. That little, nine, eight, ten, nine of G, eight, ten on the B, eighth of the high A, you let that ring a little bit, to the tenth, and then we have eight, six, eight on the B, finishing on the seventh of G. So, because there's a, a lead guitar playing, a lead guitar, a rhythm guitar playing, like picking out the chords, you can hear. So we can you can add that in if we wanted to adapt it, and then. Could add that in if you so want it. But if you want to, you know, join the bootleg Beatles and be totally authentic, I'll put the official guitar tab in the link uh, to the blog so you can have a look at that. After that, it really gets quite simple. Now, I always used to think when I listened to this one as a kid, it sounded like power chords, but not quite. Um, and in the guitar tab, it's quite interesting because it's basically played G7, A7, and a C7 at the beginning. And they're playing the G7 like that. Third fret of E, second fret of A, third fret of the D for a G7. There is another guitar playing like power chords, but there's that, and it gives it that ring. So I'm going to play what I played at the beginning. And you've got that kind of dun dun dun. So you're moving from the G here to the A there. Same shape. C7, which is that same shape but on the C note here. Back to the G. So you go, it's a golden day. Sergeant Pepper taught the band to play. Start again. Put the guarantee to raise a smile. Go to the A for the next part. C7. G7. C7. G7. You've got that here. At some parts, if you really want to analyse it, you, you could add that in if you want to really jazz it up a bit. So that's really simple for the verse. Uh, we'll get to this interlude, which I'm picking out the melodies in orchestra playing it, and I've picked out kind of what stands out of the year. Uh, And 
notes played over C, F, C, and a D smash here. Notice the chords that are on the top of the guitar tab. So we're on that B string, 8, 11, 10, 8, 9 to the G, to the 10th of D, right to the, ninth of the G, 10, then 8 on the B, 8, 6, 5 on high E, same on B, and then it sounds 7, 9 on G, 7, 10 on B, 8 a high E, 10 B, 8 a high E, 10, 10, so we've got that. more notes because there's overlapping but that's kind of the main thing we then come to the chorus g7 it will be flat seven So you've got a G7, watch out for the 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, C7, 1, 2, and 3, and 4, G7, 1, and 2, and 3, and 4. Sticking with G7, 1, and 2, D7, flat 7, C7, G7, A7. I like that a little bit. 5, 2, fourth of D. To the C7, 1, 2, and 3, and 4, G7, 2, and 3, and 4, E7, C7, G7. Fairly straightforward, as you can see. I know I'm shouting everything out, but just follow the follow the tab. Then we come to a pre-chorus. Sorry, pre-verse. 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 1, and 2. So it's such a lovely... C7, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, F7, C7, D and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 to the original verse. I hope that helps you be able to play roughly Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band and it takes you beyond just strumming it. And if you want to really analyze this one to death, uh, check out the guitar tab in the link in the description.